A big welcome back, guys. Alright, I may have stolen that intro. Big thumbs up if you know where it came from. Anyways, here's a my tank update with my for my 1880 gallon. Uh, recently just upgraded from a 120, as some of you may know. Uh, and actually, you're gonna see the fish, I believe, a lot more in this video because it's morning. They're waiting to be fed, and they're actually not afraid of me. So I'm gonna come in, do a little uh, close up on these guys. A lot of times when Mike does the video, of course they hide because they don't know who he is. But these guys know who my hand is. So you got a blue tang. That's Boomer. I can't remember what kind of fish he is, but we got him for like, I believe, forty dollars. And somebody said that he was the guy at the fish store said he was a type of fish. But when we came home and we searched the name that he had given us, that wasn't the fish. So then we. Uh, I believe my wife actually ended up finding it or posted it on the GTA forum and somebody came back with a reply and he normally is about a $300 fish that we got for $40 so his mistake, my reward, because he dinged me on the uh, blue tang that's for sure, he charged me $10 more than his first price he gave me, but anyways. So there's our finger leather first thing in the morning, absolutely happy. There's the colony of Cheerios and Black Hole Suns there, there's the torch coral there. And we got Nemo down in there. That's Marlin. Marlin's being protective. Must be eggs in there. They're constantly laying eggs, but unfortunately, nothing ever comes of it because we're not in a situation to be uh, pulling them out in the middle of the night. I got a big anemone back here, courtesy of CDN Studman. Too big for his tank. And there's a Candy, it's a skunk clown. She's actually got Popeye right now, so. She's, she's had it for a while, doesn't seem to be getting any worse. It's maybe getting a little better, but I don't believe it's going to ever correctly fully heal itself. But she's had that for a few weeks now, she seems to be doing fine. Every day we have with her is, of course, uh, better than the two days she was dead in the bottom of the tank. It's, uh, it came back there, the lights are kind of bright. Yeah, somebody had said to me to use the dollar store uh, crazy glue to frag. It's great. Um, so as you can see there, I know it's a little bright, but there's supposed to be a mushroom up there. Just got it, as you, in Mike's last video. Now it's supposed to be a mushroom on there. They're gone. I don't know where they are. They blew off. They were nicely glued. You can see the big, huge pile of glue on there. It was glued there, and now it's gone. So, if you guys happen to see it in the tank, and I can't, because I certainly can't find it, maybe you could leave a comment. There's those guys. Those guys are doing really well now, too. I think they're kind of fighting over who's going to do what on that rock. That was like a multi-rock. There was only, uh, I think, about four heads on that. And it was on the uh, back quarter there, and then I put some um, the plate coral on there. It broke off, so that's just a little piece from a little tiny piece that was still left from the glue. Not dollar store glue. Some GSP fighting for some coverage there. Big colony of black hole suns back there. Another nice chunk of plate coral. It's grown really nice. A hammer. You got the uh, cleaner shrimp back there. There's two. Don't know where the other guy is right now. Big colony of the uh, Cheerios. This one's growing like crazy. I must get five new heads a day, I swear. Every week there's just it's another two or three square inches taken up on that rock, so kind of hard to see it in person, but it wraps all the way around. Nice five dollar coral there, it's doing beautifully. It's actually spitting them off and throwing them everywhere in the tank. There's a thing of A-can back there, kind of straighten out. Speaking of spitting off, there's one right there. You can see it kind of spit off and landed there, now it's growing. All right, let's take a look underneath. Like in Mike's video, he said that I split the baffle. What had actually had happened is that this piece here was uh, too high. So what ended up happening is it was actually flowing over the top before it was coming uh, over the top here. So it was kind of redundant that I had the rocks. So what I was doing was I was drilling. I guess I drilled too hard, too fast, and I split it. But you know what? It's not bad, it works. Like Mike says, a nice little waterfall effect going into the chato. You get the output for the skimmer, so it's almost like a swirl action in there. Of course it comes across. That's the pump for, of course, the reactor. 
that I've got running in there. And then this pump is, this cage here is just basically so no chato comes into the return pumps, the return pump that's on that side, which is working beautifully. It's the uh, DCT 12,000. It's working great. We've got the fan for the days that it kind of gets a little warm in here, kind of getting a little humid because now I'm fully closed in the back there with this one. And of course that's my, uh, my ATO tank. I'm trying to get a custom one built so then I can have enough to hold me for at least a week's worth of water. I lose about three gallons worth a day. Oh, and that's my new um, uh, mangrove. Yeah, there's three mangrove there. Two have rooted, one hasn't, but I'm sure it will underneath that light. I pull about a, uh, I think about a handful of chato out every single week. This light is just, it's some light that I got from a, a construction store, just kind of like a spotlight LED. Yeah, and it grows the chato look crazy, so. Alright guys, that's my quick update. I hope you enjoy it. Nope, there's another guy back in there. The Ocellaris, we actually won those at a coral show. There's a pair of them, but they're not mated yet. So we're hoping that they'll mate. Of course, that'll be a money maker. We'll be sure to pull those eggs out. Okay guys, I'm going to feed these guys. We'll see you later.